What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked up ladder with this Mega Launcher to Rain Pulse Claw It's our team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. You guys in the comments section were like, yo, try out this Claw It's our team. And I was like, yo, let's get one. Let's get rolling. And someone sent him one by Spatial. Spatial is another YouTuber. Link to all of his stuff will be in the description below to his channel. Definitely go check him out. He's an awesome some Poketuber. But Colette right here is our first Pokemon. He has Water Pulse for Stab, Terrain Pulse, which is huge considering we have three different Terrain Pokemon and it gets that big old boost in the terrain, especially with that Mega Launcher ability. And it will actually take that typing. So for in the Psychic Surge, Terrain Pulse will turn Psychic. Grass, it will turn Grass. Same thing with Electric. You guys get it. You guys got the deal. It also has Ice Beam for coverage and Protect. Has that Life Orb as well for that 1.3 times Multiplier. We got Ndidi for the Psychic Surge, Focus Sash, Expanded Force, Mystical Fire, Imprison, and Trick Room. We can Imprison Trick Rooms or we can go out lower special attack with that mystical fire or just expanding first expanding force in the surge then we got pinch over here with that electric surge and i love how all these uh surge pokemon have moves that go along with it like indeed he has expanding force real boom has grassy guide and pinch has rising voltage which is double damage in the electric surge but expert belt as well to boost special attack damage sucker punch for first turn priority scald over here and protect real boom the goat right here with assault vest grassy surge grassy glide for first turn prior priority knock off take off items fake out because fake out rocks and high horsepower for coverage we also got tokus in this bottom left corner and tokus is awesome with that serene grace with air slash dazzling gleam follow me and yawn i do love this moveset on it it's just a nice little support tokus over here and then in the final spot we got that figgy berry intimidate incineroar right here this thing's an absolute beast with flare blitz snarl to lower special attack parting shot and fake out if you guys want to try out this team for yourself rental code is at the bottom of the screen but i'm hyped for this call it's team i want to see how much damage we can do so let's get right into these battles first battle coming at you guys this guy has a coaching Rylou team we know all about it considering we played with it in the last video but who are we gonna lead you i definitely want to lead call it's or try to start showing him off let's get him going i think i might go real boom as well real boom could be pretty cool but he's got to be going coaching Rylou as a lead right or is he gonna go incineroar and do all that good stuff i said we bring out real boom incineroar and then in the final spot who do i want to go whom do i want to go with i might actually bring uh it could be a misty surge uh which I'm gonna call it a misty surge uh blah, 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 wheezing <laughs> I couldn't even think of the name so I did a blah, blah, blah. that's what I did but hmm hmm who should my final Pokemon be I feel like I need another terrain user be the Pinchurchin or uh Pinchurchin or indeed I think I'm gonna go indeed here considering it can do damage and it has that uh, focus sash as well which is pretty nice let's see if we get our first win let's see if we can get our first win if you guys want to catch more content from me hit that link in the description below jeans 25 on twitch we stream three to four days every single week i know this week has been slow and i haven't really been streaming but we're gonna try to get back into things next week next week but let's get it let's get going guys who's he gonna lead who's he gonna lead whom are you gonna lead sir, sir? incineroar does come out okay that's fine with me. he's gonna get that minus one you hunk of junk you hunk of junk the terrain is going to be grass. The terrain is going to be grass, and I do nothing with that terrain. I do nothing with that terrain. Get it out of here. And you can just go for a grassy glide. I could actually change the terrain, Dynamax, and roll from there. That could be pretty good for me. That could be pretty good. What do I want to do here? Actually, I do just want a Dynamax here, and I'm just going to go after this Incineroar. And I'm going to fake out. What do I fake out? Roll boom? I'm going to fake out the roll boom here. I am going to pick out his real boom because I think he's just going to go for a grassy glide. And I don't even think I had to go for a like, terrain pulse move right now. I'd rather fake that out because if he fakes out my call he's definitely going for a fake out with Incineroar. But if he fakes out my call we're Dynamax. We're getting after it. But if he fakes out my real boom, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. What are you going to do, Kunser? What are you going to do? He's not Dynamax. And I'm Dynamax. I know that because Colossor is actually really slow. It has 57 speed, I think, on this, uh, on this Pokemon. It's 57, so... Let's see what we can do with it. Look at this giant little claw hand. He's like, what's good, man? It's like a little, uh, it's like a little pup he carries around. It's a claw. He's like, yo, what's good? <laughs> Tinkers up to 356 HP. Not bad. Not bad at all. And we're going to come out here and drop a nice big fake out on his real boom. Yeet. Get out of my face. And is that Incineroar going to go for a fake out? Yep. Incineroar is going to go for a fake out. So no one's moving besides my boy. My boy Clawitzer coming in here. It is minus one. It is minus one, but we are set in the rain, which is nice for us. Let's get it. Let's get it. Do some damage. Oh my god, dude. This thing's hitting like a truck and it's minus one. This thing is minus one. What more do you want? This thing's hitting like a truck. 
Good work. Good work, Cloetzer. All right, plan now. Plan now is uh, probably swap that terrain out. Because the grass doesn't really help me. This is why I did bring another terrain Pokemon. It's tight. Nice. Tight, nice. We brought that in doobly <laughs> In doobly I think, well, depending on what Pokemon you just bring out with the side of fire, change the terrain. Because that real boom is a huge threat. Everyone knows that real boom is such a big threat. Especially against my Colter. I really want this thing to survive because we have the rain rolling. We can, uh, we have that terrain. We have that life orb. Like, we're chilling with him. We are chilling with him. He was minus one. He just absolutely dumped on that incineral. Just like, get out my face. Get out of here. And that was like nothing. It was just stab, super effective damage. He goes in a Snorlax, though. He's laxing on the Snores. I mean, I could keep terrain, but. I'd rather not. I'd rather not keep the terrain. So, actually, I gotta keep Claw. Terrain Claw is my first move. I can just go for a Max Strike over here, up against the Snorlax, and then swap go Pokemans, and swap into Indeedee, just so he doesn't uh, get that extra damage, that 1.3 times multiplier with the Grassy terrain. We can potentially eat up uh, a Grassy Glide here. Let's see, what do you want, fool? Get that Indeed back out here. No terrain for you. No terrain for you. It's mine. It's all mine. Psychic Surge, baby. See you later, terrain. I think terrains are so cool, especially when they added them. Like, it just adds a whole other effect to the competitive side. It's just so good. But he's going to Dynamax here. I think he's going to Dynamax and Snorlax. Do Dynamax and Snorlax, or are you going really? If you're going really, then I'm going to bring Incineroar in next turn. And get that minus one. The minus one will work good on both these guys. But he goes with this. He goes with the Snorlax. Which is totally fine. I'm just dropping a Max Strike, slowing these Pokemon down a little bit. Well, not the Snorlax. Snorlax is already slow enough. Let's see what he does. He goes for the grassy guy. He still goes first, but we eat up a little bit more because no terrain there. Let's get this Mindstorm coming out here. Look at that. It does change typings with that uh, terrain pulse move. And it only did a little bit of damage because Strunks is an absolute tank. Just an absolute tank here. Strunks goes for a Max Quake. And it's coming out here. Yo, leave me alone, dog. Leave me alone. Goes after Claw. Claw eats that up. Yo, that's a tasty snack you got there. Lovely. They do get that special defense boost as well. Okay, I see you, dog. I see you. This is my last item next turn, so I don't know if I should just go straight for it, or if I should guard. Um, I think I'm just going to go over on this side, drop this, and then uh, go into this expanding force. Yeah, I'm going to go into expanding force here. They can take out my Clawitzer. It's fine by me. It's fine. I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I think Indeedy should be able to outspeed the real boom now. Or actually, it probably already did it regardless. I just didn't even, like, give the chance. Because we just swapped it in and then the build and went. Pretty grassy guy. We're still a decent amount of damage. It might, it might take me out if he throws another one. I hope not. I hope we can get off another guys here. Expanding Force comes out. Yeet. Not bad damage. Going around. And grassy guy comes out. Eat this up, Claw. Nope. Claw, it's gone. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Okay, so indeed he does have another turn. He does have one more turn here. And we still have our Rillaboom in the back. So Rillaboom is going to be huge. Rillaboom is going to be huge. He goes for that steel spike over on you. Boosting his defense. He's just boosting his stats up now. Yeah, it's plus one special defense, plus one defense. I'm gonna lower lower their attack right here. I'm gonna say, get out of here, attack. You gotta lower it with instant one. Bring out the fake out user as well. Then I could party shot and go back again. Not bad. That, that is not bad. Onto that, uh, what's it called? Onto that Snorlax. Snorlax is a pain. I know it still has his berry. But now these things are both minus one on the attack board. This one's gonna be close. I feel like this one's gonna be really, really close for us. Um, definitely fake out, obviously. Fake you out, and then... We think Trick now. Trick Room isn't a play. I think I just Expanding Force again. I think I just Expanding Force again. Do a little bit of damage. Get it out there. Robin might protect if it has protect. I don't think this, this Robin's rolling out with protect. I think it's got the fake out, like a set like mine. It's like fake out with the high horsepower, grass guide, and maybe the wood hammer or something else along those lines. But what you want, fool? Come on! Come on! I want this first battle win. It is going to be close. It, we we know that's going to be down to the wire here. Who else do I still have the back? I still have that Robum, and Robum is just an absolute monster, yo. He's a monster. Dun, 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 dun. And Cinemore fakes out. Ah, I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry. This is what happens when you don't play Pokemon for a good bet. We don't play Pokemon. Oh, at least we avoided the attack. At least we avoided attack. We do not get the fake out, but that made up for it. Thank you, Poke Gods. Poke Gods came up clutch for me. And let him and let me avoid an attack. <laughs> Yo, we forgot that we couldn't fake out in the terrain. I always do that though. Even if I'm playing for a while, it just throws me off sometimes. I just always forget. Let me know. I know some people do it. Let me know if you guys are one of those people who always forget about the terrains and using like first turn priority moves in there. Man, I was probably saying like, oh, I'm gonna fake out coming when it's in order. You guys are like, no, jeans, no, don't do it. <laughs> 
We do switch to the grass terrain. The nice, lovely grass terrain. And the, uh, his Dynamax turn should be over now. Yeah, shrink back down, little boy. Shrink down. Okay, what do we go from here? What do we go from here? I do have a fake out again. Which I can actually use this time. And I'm definitely going to go into here and fake out the Snorlax. Snorlax, get out of here. I can actually use the fake out this time. We're chilling with it. I'm not dealing with these punks. I'm not dealing with them. Snorlax actually might be rocking out with Protect. Doesn't matter. We get that fake out off. Get flinch, boy. Get flinch. Hammer arm is coming down. Leave me alone. Oof. Big old damage. Almost halves me. Super effective comes out. But he's dropping his stats. He's dropping his speed. And we, we should be able to come out here. And hopefully his player but should be able to take out. I know we're in the rain. No, it doesn't. Whack. That is whack. And I, oh, we do get the burn. That's lovely, though. That burn is lovely. You love to see the burns like that. Snorlax flinches, cannot move, so rain finally stops and says, get out of here. Um, hmm. Let's try to roll out here. Do I go into a, gl a glide here? No, I don't think a glide is going to take out. I think I got to knock off that thing's berry. I think I do have to knock off that thing's berry, because I don't really want to eat up another berry and survive it longer. Burn was huge. The burn was actually pretty big for us. So we know we do take out him here. I'm just going to go for a Flare Blitz. Finish this thing off. I'll take the recoil damage. That's totally fine. I'm going to take off your berry. I'm going to say, get your berry out of here and go home, kid. I'm not dealing with you. But the Snorlax actually might have high horsepower. I'm just going to go after my Incineroar. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think his Roll Boom is going to go for a Glide. Try to do a little bit more damage before he does go out. Yeah, see? Kind of saw that coming. Do like poo poo damage to me. That's totally fine. Incident or, or Real Boom will go first. We'll take off your berry. We'll say, yo, give me that berry, please. You gotta be holding a berry. Yeah, your figgy berry. I'm not dealing with that Swanks with the figgy berry. It's just not happening. Flare Blitz comes out. We finally get rid of his Real Boom. And it comes down to a 2v2 situation. He doesn't have a Dynamax. Hopefully, we can get rid of this uh, the Snorlax soon. Incineroar is dropping down from recoil and high horsepower comes out. See, I knew it had it. I knew it had it. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. I love you. I love you, Incineroar. Give me a chance to play. And our figgy berry comes out. Giving us that HP. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Figgy. We go back to exactly, like, just about... We were one HP more than we had. That's nice. And then we get the grassy terrain. The grassy terrain stuff. Now he's going to show his final Pokemon. Yo, come on. This is a close one. Who's it going to be? Whom are you going with? Rylou. Okay, so he's going to coach. He's going to start coaching here. Which I'm cool with. This thing Steel type at that stage? Just not. Just not. I still kind of just want to get rid of it. But at the same time, I'm going to go for a Flare Blitz and uh, knock off this thing's item. Just get rid of its Evo. Is it? No, no. They're usually Focus Ash. I'm just going to go for a Grassy Glide over on it. I'm going to glide onto it. He's obviously going to coach, yeah. Kind of saw that coming. And he's definitely going to take out my What's Called here. He's definitely going to take out my uh, my Incineroar here. My Incineroar hopefully can get the burn. Yeah, these things are Sash. These things are Sash. See, I was thinking Evo late at first. But good thing I changed it last second. Flare Blitz comes out here. Give me the burn. Show me the burn. Show me the burn. Give it to me. Give it to me. Come on. No. Okay, Incineroar's gone. High horsepower's coming in here. Misses? Nope. Hits. Man. That plus one attack coming in clutch. He's going to coach again. That's a fact. He's coaching again. He has Prankster. He gets that first turn priority. I think the grass train might be gone here. Oof, yo. Big oof coming out here. Mm-mm-mm. Yo, coaching Riley coming in the end. We can clutch it up. Okay. Definitely go for that Grassy Glide. We gotta go for it. Dang Snorlax, man. Dang Snorlax. What is he? Plus two on defense? Well, gonna be plus three. He's gonna be plus two on attack because he's definitely coaching up again. Go ahead. Do it. Go ahead. Do it, man. Just coach. Give him the whistle. Is it, a, is it considered a speed tie with my first turn priority move and his Prankster? So did he just get lucky there? No, I think he just takes a uh, first turn priority with Prankster. Bro, yo, this thing's stacking up. This thing is stacking up. I need something big to have. Some nice big crits. Can we get rid of the Rylou just so he doesn't uh, boost the next turn again? The Soul Vest is doing nothing because this thing's physical attack. He goes for a double edge. Oh! Big old Snorlax coming in here. We do eat. This thing takes big old recoil damage. Do we still have grassy terrain? We still have the terrain. If we get it one more turn, that could be type nice. Or is it gone? I think we have one more turn. We do have it one more turn. Definitely grass guides I would call here. Come on, baby. Give me a crit or something. Give me a crit. I know this thing's plus three. I don't think it's going to kill unless we get a crit. Or he still might actually be able to survive it if we do get a crit. Let's see. Yo, it's going to be close, yo. This thing double edge. Lost a lot of HP from that. If we miss, I mean, if we hit and we don't kill, we need him to miss. 
There's another double edge is definitely gonna take me out for sure. Make a move, Storm Action. Grass guy coming out. Come on! Doom Dirty! Nope. Not even close. Not even close. Double Edge comes out. He's gonna finish off this game. Yo, that was such a close match. GG to that guy. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I thought we were gonna actually end up winning that. But that coaching Riley came up clutch in the end. Boosting his defense. Because if he didn't have those extra two defense, we would have killed him with the Grassy Glide. Hopping into battle number two right here. This guy has competitive Milotic, so I gotta watch out in Sonora. He has Lafiro, Cinerace, Gale Wing, Sound Flame, so Trick Room is definitely coming out here. He's got a rather fast team right here, so I think Trick Room is the call with the male and Didi. So we're gonna lead him. We're gonna get him going. Do I lead Coalitzer with it? Essentially just like protect turn one and wait for my turn to go. Or bu -bu -bu -bu, what do I wanna do? Or I could go. Who is slower? It's gonna be Pinch Urchin, so Pinch Urchin is gonna get his terrain out there. Which is fine. I don't mind having an electric train. No, electric train will actually uh, help us out pretty good. I'm actually going to go Pinchurchin. I am going to go Pinchurchin, yeah. I think I'd rather have electric terrain. Like it just does so much more work against everything. But I do want that trick room, so I'd rather get my terrain or the electric terrain out here. And then go Colitzer in the back. And then Rillaboom. Yeah, let's go booming. Let's get booming up in here. All three terrains coming out here. I know that I'm leading two terrain mods, and the second terrain is going to go with the. Uh, because the electric train's gonna come out. I totally understand. I totally understand that, but let's see. Let's see. I just wanna get off that trick room and I wanna have that electric train out there because it can do work up against that, uh, or Pinchurchin can do work up against the, the Gale Wings, which he might lead, or the competitive Milotic, which he's probably gonna lead both. If in, well, that's what I'm thinking. No, he just goes Milotic. Okay, that's fine. Cinderace and Milotic. We do have the Focus Ash, which is nice. We do have that Focus Ash. But he's probably gonna go into like a Max Darkness. He cannot imprison Trick Room. He can't put me to sleep, though. A little scary. The hypnosis. Not a fan of it. Not a fan of it. The surge is coming out. We sent an electric stuff. If I had this thing with a rising voltage, it's probably dead. You just probably see it later. Get out of my face. Dead. So I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna try to roll this trick room. Let's get it. Trick room coming out. And then just go into a nice big old rising voltage over on the mile. Cinderace is scaring me, man. Yo, the Cinderace is scaring me. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Because he might protect that Malatic, to be honest, which I think I wouldn't be surprised if he does. And then he might Dynamax to Cinderace, which would be totally fine, because then I can just bring out Klawitzer later once Trick Room set up. Pretty much do some work on it. Tell me, get out of my face! Yo, make a move. Make a move. Yep, here comes his Dynamax. It's gotta be Cinderace. Unless it's a weakness policy Malatic. I'm just gonna Dynamax Malatic, make it eat up a shot. Let's see what happens. Nope, big old G-Max Cinderace coming in with that uh, G-Max Fireball, probably, going to over onto my... We might go into the Max Darkness, the Max Darkness from the Sucker Punch over onto my NDD slot, but we are, like I said, we're focused last year. Cinderace goes for a Max Airstream. Okay, that's fine, he's just boosting speed. I'm cool with it. Who are you going after? Go after my Pinch Urchin. Go after my Pinch Urchin. Goes after NDD. NDD comes down to the Sash, do not double up. Do not double up. Do not double up into my NDD. Leave my NDD alone. Please leave it alone. Probably going for an icy win to be honest. Let's see. Let's see what happens here. Leave my NDD alone. Goes for an icy win. Oh my lord! I hate this game. This game straight trash, dog. No, it's not trash, but we chill. I don't, I don't think I don't think we're sitting too bad. Our speed's gonna drop. No trick room for us, which is tough news. Tough news. I really want to get off that trick room. Here comes rise of voltage. I think this thing is gonna take it out one shot. No problem. Double damage. Get it out. Of here. Get it out my face. Yo, my ultic going. Uh, do I? I gotta bring out Clawitzer here. Clawitzer's gotta get the go. Gotta get the go. The Clawitzer, get out here right now, man. Right now. This thing is flying type, so we might try to boost his, uh... We might try to boost up again. I definitely got a Dynamax. And go for that, uh, Max Strike. Get that lightning going. Just start going after it. You don't, he's so, it's just so scary. That stinking in or that stinking Cinderace. Just don't know what's gonna do. It's gonna change typings all the time. I definitely gotta go into an electric move, I think. Because he might go into another airstream. Try to boost his speed up again. Do some big old damage. Being stab life orb. He's just doing some work. Lawitzer comes out for jeans, baby. Let's get it. Big dog coming out. And Togi Wogi's coming out. So he's definitely following me. So I'm definitely gonna go into uh rise of voltage. I'm just gonna double up into the uh, Definitely doubling up into the Cinderace. So we'll double up in the center race. If he follows me, we're gonna probably gonna take it out one shot either way. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's, let's just see what happens. Come on, man. What you want, boo? What you want? Because this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking. He goes for the follow me. All I need is my Pokemon to eat up the center race shot. Because if he goes for follow me, my Colitzer is gonna outspeed, take out the Tokus in one shot, 
And then I think if he stays flying, a rising voltage should just dump on the center. So we could be sitting pretty good. But let's just see what happens. He, he got me with the trick room, dude. He got me with taking out my trick room line. That was huge. Kind of mad about it. I'm kind of mad about it. A big old claw is getting that Dynamax. Looking lovely. 356 HP. Getting a little bulky too. Love to see it. Let's see what happens here. Follow me, obviously. It's all that coming. Show me this thing stays flying though. Show me this thing's going for an airstream. Trying to boost speed again. Yes, okay, so this thing stays there. Go after my call answer, please. Yes, he does. Call answer. Eat. Okay, okay. Yo, let's go. Let's go. I'm hoping everything works out just as I wanted it to. Call answer should go first. It's not sad, but still. It changes to max lightning. Let's get it. Take it out with this electric train. Take it out. Let's go get it out of here. Rise of Voltage is going to be double damage with stab with electric terrain boost. Super effective damage as well. This thing should take out the Cinderace in my opinion. Let's see. Yay. No, it does not. Oh, man. I thought it was going to take it out. Definitely still could go for a sucker punch here. Oh, my God. I thought we were taking out that. I seriously thought we were taking out. Rillaboom's coming out here. He's going to change the terrain up. So, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Leave me alone, dude. Leave me alone. I still do have... Do I have Incineroar in the back? No, I brought... No. What did I bring? To I think I brought Tokus. No, I brought Rillaboom. Okay, that works. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Really? Really, really boom. Hmm. I'm gonna drop a Hailstorm. Do I just go for a Sucker Punch on you? Yeah, yo, let's drop a Sucker Punch. Let's drop a Sucker Punch. In case you try to take me out here. Take out. Oh, yo, leave my pin church alone, dog. Leave him alone. He's just trying to chill and have a good old time. Another airstream's coming out. He's boosting speed again. Eat it up, Claw. Oh my lord, Clawitzer, let's get it, big dog. Let's get it, Clawitzer. Get one more shot off. That's big. That's big news. And then I think a Sucker Punch could just roll out here and take out that uh, Cinderace. Hellstorm coming out. Get it, baby. Get it. Do some damage before you go out. Your life force is going to take you out. But still, yo, get that roll boom all the way down to there. And it's going to survive. It is going to survive, though. I think it's going to survive. I have two first turn priorities, though. Two first turn priorities. But the Hailstorm is just going to neglect the, uh, the HP boost from the Grassy Terrain. Okay, Cinderace takes some damage. Well, let's start coming up big, yo. Oh, the, the Buffets come out first. That's huge. That's huge. The Buffets do come out first. Roll Boom goes down. My Roll Boom's able to come out here. And I can just Grass Glide take out that, uh, that Cinderace any day of the week. Just lovely. Get it. Let's go. Jeans is looking good, even without the Trick Room. We're playing this one pretty well. We're playing this one pretty well. We go roll boom. Let's get it out. Come on, Gene. You can get the win. Hey, hey. Is it just Cinderace left? It is. Oh, dude. That's game. That is GG. That is GG, baby. I can fake it out as well. It's GG. I just go for a uh, rising voltage because I want to. Don't want to drop big old lightning on this thing for being annoying. Cancel the battle. Fake out coming out. Probably going to kill it anyway. Fake out comes out. Picks up the KO. Your boy has done it. One and one so far. We're going to hop into our third and final battle and try to get a winning record with this Mega Launcher Claw. It's our team. Oh, no. We know how strong this Alolan Raichu team is. We went 3-0 and with it. Absolutely dominated on the rank ladder with it. And he's got it with that Pinchurchin for that Surge. And I can actually cancel out Surges, which is awesome. Which is type nice for us. But Pinchurchin is going to be the slowest. He's going to be the slowest. That's just a fact. That is just a fact. But I'm going to actually lead Claw Itzer. And I'm going to go in with uh, Rillaboom. Actually, let's go in with Incineroar. We could go with, in with Incineroar. That's not bad. That's not a bad lead, Incineroar here. And then bring in DD. I guess I just want to swap and get my Incineroar another chance and then change the terrain. Then in the final spot, I think we go really. I think we go Rillaboom. Rillaboom's just type nice, especially if you can do some work up against that uh, that Urshifu, because that's going to be a water Urshifu. And see if we can get a winning record. We are 1 and 1. First battle was so close. Second battle, we played really well, either, even without the Trick Room. We cancel that out right off the bat. Like, bro, get out of my face. And we were able to take out a Cinderace, dude. Like, Claudzer hits like a truck. He hits like a truck. He dumped on the roll boom. He was just doing work all around. But come on. I got this. I got this. I got this. You guys already know the deal. If you are enjoying the content, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subbed already. We are close to 5,000 subs. Probably when this video goes live, we are probably going to hit 5,000 subs. And I cannot thank you guys enough. But it goes Raichu and, uh... It goes Raichu and Togekiss. Which is totally fine. I think I just... If he changes terrain, but then... What do I really want to do here? What do I really want to do? He's going to go electric move on me. That's that's a fact. I'm going to have to swap Claw are out. Hmm. 
To Indeedy? Into Indeedoobly? Or Rillaboom. I said we go Rillaboom because he does have that soul fast. And I could just go for a Snarl. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Snarl up on this Raichu. Keep lowering its special attack because it is a special attack of Pokemon. I'm gonna swap Qualitzer. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with it right now. I'm gonna have Qualitzer saving the back. I don't want him just like Volt Switch or T Bolt and take me out one shot. But I really do think he might swap into Pinchurchin. I think that's the play. I think Pinchurchin coming out here. And then he might Dynamax. Let's see what happens. He's just not. He's just gonna go for a Volt Switch. He's gonna say, yo, I'm out of here. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. He's gonna swap out. I'm gonna get this minus one over on the Togus, which is pretty big. What are you doing, kind sir? Make a move. He's gonna go into a special attacker. Nope, Cinderace comes out. Cinderace does come out here. Air slash. Oh, real boom. Avoids the air slash. You'd love to see it. We're all coming out. Yay! Doing not bad damage. I'll take it. And I think I parting shot here. I think I parting shot on that, uh, that Cinderace. And then we say, we're out of here. And we say, get out of here. <laughs> this is tough. This is tough. Because I really want to, like, swap, but then at the same time, I don't want to. I think I double up into this thing. Knock off, and then I'm going to parting shot. Even though I think he is going to go for a, what's it called? I think he is going to go for a follow me here, because he is minus one. He doesn't want me really messing with the Cinderace. The Cinderace is definitely probably just going to go into a Pyro Ball. Take out my boy. Take out my Bull Boom. Unless he misses or something like that, but we'll see. Gonna do. He's gonna Dynamax, dude. Like I said, dude, Cinderace is so big. He's so big in the meta right now. It is just ridiculous. You guys just saw it. We, we already versed one just a battle ago, and now we're versing another one. It's just constant Cinderace. But this one isn't G Max. It's fine. It really doesn't make a difference if it's G Max or not. It's just that G Max Fireball does so much damage. It's base 160, and it hits through abilities. He's definitely gotta set the heat, right? Gotta be thing. Oh, he's going for the Knuckle. Oh, dude, he's taking out my, my Instant Roar. You hunk of junk. He's really taking out my, my Instant Roar. Eat it up, Incineroar. Do him dirty. Eat it up, buddy. Nope, dude. It hits so hard. It, like, dude, it just hits so hard at all times, dude. It's so good. It's so good, man. Can't deal with it. Give him the boost attack. I'm gonna knock off his item, though. I wonder what it is. Is he holding an expert belt? I can see him holding an expert belt. Or, nope, it's life orb. They can actually take off the life orb here. He's gonna go for a dazzling gleam. That's cool with me. I'm chilling with it. We get off this knockoff. Yeet. Take off that life orb. Say, give it to me, baby. And I'm gonna bring out Claw here. I definitely gotta bring out Claw Itzer. Get along with that, boy. Claw Itzer, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Get out there, boy. Get out there. We're gonna have to Dynamax him. And then what's the play after this? Do I swap? Do I swap right here? Or do I keep the grass turn? I just wanna go for a grassy glide. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for a grassy glide. We're gonna double up on this thing. Dynamax. We really think he's gonna switch to fire typing. I think he would rather airstream at that at this point, right? He would rather airstream. Let's just see what he does. Let's see what the plan is here. Get it, Cole. So we're going for that big old terrain max strike pulse, whatever you want to call it. I like how it does uh, still work in the max or in the Dynamax form, which is lovely. Which is lovely. Get it, boy. Get him out there. I love how his like his hand is bigger than his body. Just sitting there, and this is like two people. Just two people. Get it, dog. Get it. I saw someone uh, comment on one of my videos. He was like, "Oh, like Pokemon is now pay to win because of the Owl Armor Pokemon." That that was actually cracked me up. He's kind of true. Like, yo, you're getting better Pokemon here if you get the Owl of Armor. I think that was funny. But man, this thing with a nice follow me. He's gonna airstream. I'm gonna say bye bye to Rillaboom. Rillaboom, no. Losing the speed, and then a grass moves coming across. Then a grass move is coming across onto that toe kiss. That's not, that's not looking good for us. That's not looking good. Indeed, he's going to have to come out here and try to get us this win. But, dude, Cinderace is so hard to play up against. Let me know if you guys struggle with Cinderace too. Or if you don't struggle with Cinderace, let me know why that, that is. Why, how do you counter him so good? Go for the overgrowth. Let's get it. Boom, 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 boom. Boop. A little bit of damage. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit, man. Luckily, this thing doesn't have life orb anymore. But I can still see him just dumping all my Pokemon. Because he is plus one. Indeed, dubitably, get out here. Do I try to set a trick room here? I think I gotta try to set a trick room. A trick room. I think that's like our one way out. Is to set trick room and roll from there? I think so. I think so. Because then we'll have first turn priority. Let's go trick room. Yeet on that. And then we'll go for Do I hail swim? Geyser, strike. Hmm. We just geyser. Honestly, 
Get that water going for us. And get that stab damage as well. I like it. I, I'm digging it. He's going to max darkness. Indeed, he's going to sash up here. He's probably going for Dazzling Gleam. He's going to take me out. Like, bruh, I can't, I, I can't even get off a trick, man. Built down to our sash. See that coming all day. Sin gets three Dynamax moves, and all of them just kill my Pokemon instantly. So tough. It's tough. Over this thing goes for like a follow me or something. Or not follow me. Goes for like a uh, an air slash on my call or side. Nope. Obviously doesn't lean. Take out my needy. Yo, what the? Get out of here, boy. Gets a crit on it too. Just to rub it in my face. Just rub it in my face, guys. Let's get it. Guys are coming out here. Guys are should be able to take it out here. The guys. The geezer. Boop. See you later. Okay, so now it comes down to did we take out one of his mons yet? I don't think we did. Trying to land. Who did he lead? He led uh no, he swapped somebody right off the bat. And then just rolled out with a... With Cinerase. I think, I think it down, comes down to a 1v3. It's not looking good for your boy. It is not looking good for your boy. Yeah, I need that trick him up. I really did. So I can take first turn priority and start dumping on Pokemon left and right. With Claw Boy. And he does change the terrain for us. And I gotta take him out. That's a fact. Like, he's gotta go. Pinchurchin does gotta go. But I can see him maybe protecting. Kinda scary. But Pinchurchin 100% gotta go. Robo might actually bounce. Might bounce out of here, so see you later. And I think I just gotta go for another geyser. I think I gotta go for another geyser. That's my best bet. And the rain stab damage with that life orb boost as well. We are fast and Pinchurchin. The Cinderace is obviously the scary mod, and he's gonna have to go next. I don't wanna leave this up uh, Pinchurchin in here, let it get off of rise and voltage. But he does bounce, so it was a nice call. It's a nice call to go after that side. He does bounce. He does do a little bounce. Geezer. That works for me. That totally works for me. We're gonna get off this max geyser. Please don't be sash. And let's dump on this thing. We're going for clutch call answer here. Take him out. Boop. Let's go. You're out of here. Come on. We get a crit. We didn't even need a crit. We didn't even need a crit. I'm telling you, that would have killed it regardless. They have mega launcher still. Oh, God, it's gonna come down. It's gonna come down. I could guard here, but I don't think guard is the call. Depends who the last Pokemon is. It's gonna be a long ride. And that is uh very, very scary. That is very, very scary. This is I should have known it was a long ride because we saw it in the beginning. It's very, very scary, man. Leave me alone. You know what? We're taking out this in we're taking out this Cinderace, even though he's gonna take me out with a volt switch. He's taking me out with a volt switch, yo. Rest easy, dog. Rest easy. Oh, it's her, yo. He tried clutching it, but yo, Lone and Raichu coming out with that surge. Such a beast. Such a beast. So good at Pokemon. You guys saw me play this team. Oh, this thing has rise of voltage as well. That's double damage. That's night night. GG, we go one and two with the team. Not bad. We shot off the team pretty well. First match was so so close. This match was uh was kind of close. He had Cinder Race and then a Lolan Raichu. That was that was actually a tough matchup. And we couldn't get that trick room off. But at least we got to show off Kolitzer doing some big damage in this video. This Kolitzer hits like an absolute truck. I totally wish I was able to get off Trick Room and show him off in the Trick Room, but you guys already know how that would work out. He would just outspeed everybody and probably just dump on most of the Pokemon. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.